Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can program any NRF 51A22 module or chip using NRF 51 development kit. To do that, the very first step is to actually cut off this SB9 jumper, which you can see on this development kit. So what will it do is it will cut off the power to the onboard NRF 51 chip. So this is a very necessary step to do before connecting our custom module to the NRF 51 development kit. You can do that by scratching this SB9 connector using a sharp tool or a knife just like this and once it just it's disconnected you can check the continuity by multimeter to make sure that it's actually disconnected and you may think what if we needed to power the onboard NRF51 again well for that you can use this kind of small link and you can put it on this jumper this nail header and now the onboard chip is powered up let's remove it because we don't need this for this tutorial so i have connected four wires with this module the connection diagram is shown on the screen this one black one is ground the red one is 3.3 volts yellow is swd clock and green is SWD input output and this wire as you can see should have two ends and I will explain that in a moment so let's connect both of these together first of all let's connect the ground the ground should be connected to this ground and then connect these two pins so these two pins will be connected one on the VTG pin this one and the other one will be connected to the VDD pin as you can see VTG and the VDD pin and then we will connect this pin to SWDIO and this pin will be connected to SWD clock now you can see them clearly Okay, so let's connect the development kit to PC. It's connected. Okay, so on the PC, let's open JFlashlight. Click OK. Select the chip NRF51822 QFAC. Click OK. Now let's erase it. No, I do not want to update the firmware. Now let's select the files, soft device, program, no. Now open application, program, no. Okay, now let's see it. You can see the LED is blinking on the board. Let's check the Bluetooth. okay there you go it's working let's connect to it okay the LED is still now it's showing the connection is established disconnect if you found this video useful make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and if you want me to make videos on any specific topic you can let me know in the comments below thanks for watching